friends welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat West Bengal India in this video we are going to see management of this corneal tear with iris prolapse the ocular surface is thoroughly irrigated with BSS this is moxifloxacin and now the iris that has prolapsed out of the uh, uh, through the corneal wound. It is wise not to reposit it back because it is in contact with bacteria of the ocular surface and if we do not abscise the iris it is going to take all those bacteria inside the anterior chamber. By this time a side boot has been made and visco has been injected into the anterior chamber. This side boot will help in anterior chamber lavage after conclusion of the surgery. Now I am abscising the iris that prolapsed out. This is moxifloxacin and now I take a fresh 10 O nylon suture and in this case I, am, I thought of doing a shoeless continuous shoeless suture, but I found that the wound is not right. So, this is going to be an interrupted suture. Using visco every time to push the iris back so that the iris is not included in the wound. Now I tried two throughs and then I find that it is not staying. So I decide to make three loops and place this suture. Three on on suture. First three throughs and then on, then another on. The threads are cut very close to the knot and the knot is buried in the corneal tissue, in the corneal stroma. And now this is going to be the second suture. I am placing it uh, widely so that one more suture will come in between again I use visco to push the iris back and then this is three loops and then on and then on more. So, this is again on, on suture. Threads are cut close to the knot and then the knot is buried in the corneal stroma. And now another interrupted suture. The bites are taken to almost 80 percent depth and then this is going to be the third suture, two throws and then on, then on more throw. This video is running at two times of the real speed. The surgery took about 23 minutes. We are going to 
show the whole surgery in 12 minutes. And now this is going to be uh, X suture. The bite comes from the groove, then this bite is taken and then another bite comes from cornea in the groove and it is taken out so that the knot will automatically be in the group. Again visco to push the iris back and now optimum pull so that the cornea gets opposed and it is done. And now I pull the thread so that the knot goes into the corneal stroma, it does not stay in the group. And now this on, this one is going to be two throws, then on, then on mode, two on, on switcher. Again visco to push the iris back, two throws, on more and then again on more. Cut the threads close to the knot and the knot is buried. The antechamber has been maintained by visco. And this is another suture in between these two. The suture should be of optimum tension. It should neither be too tight nor loose. It should be of optimum tension. And these sutures can be removed after two months. We should not remove the sutures. For complete healing, it takes about two months. So, this is the interrupted suture. Uh, this is the fifth interrupted, interrupted suture. And on more interrupted suture is to be placed at the end on the at the left end of the wound here and this is going to be a long bite. There is a small triangular flap, it should be nicely supported by this suture. And this is going to be a two on on suture, first two throws then on through, then on more through. No, this one is three on on suture. With two throws, it was not getting nice, nicely supported. And now the triangular uh, corneal flap is nicely supported. The knot has been buried in the corneal stroma. And now, this is very important. We have to remove the visco as well as there is some exudates in the anterior chamber. We have to remove that also. So, after uh, walking for some time, I find that there is some iris incarceration at the wound and I am not uh, able to get there with the Simco. So, then I took a Sinsky hook and then I found it dangerous. Then I asked for a spatula and here it is. 
sweeped it like this and the iris that got incarcerated, a small knuckle of iris got incarcerated and it, it got detached and now it is okay. And now I am going to remove this exudate uh, as well as at the same time I am going to uh, do a nice anterior chamber lavage. This is the exudate, it came out. The lens is at this time, the lens is clear, but it may become opaque in few months. The side port is hydrated, hope that it will not require any suture. This is irrigation by a cannula and the wound is, the intercular pressure is firm, it is okay. So, we are towards the end of the surgery, I put a lot of drops of moxie over the cornea and then conclude the case. Thank you very much for your attention, hope this video will guide you in repairing corneal wounds.